For our next module, we need to solder the headers, which you see here, to our TTGO T display um, DSP32. So um, I'm going to walk through how to get these soldered on. Now they're going to go like this. Notice that the um, this is what we're going for. The long edge should be. Oh, well, I mean, I guess you could do it this way if you wanted to, but. That would be kind of weird because it's going to get in the way of the screen. So the long edge should be pointing away from the screen. And the short edge of this is uh, where we're going to create that connection. Then eventually we'll be able to plug in our extra devices like the joystick or the potentiometer or the button or whatever it is um, to these edges here. So we need to get these connected and we need a nice connection between these two. So if you have a breadboard handy, you can just actually let's see we've got one here. If you have a breadboard handy, then this is really easy. We just can uh stick this guy in the breadboard and then um put this on top like this, and then we would um solder this together so you can see. Didn't quite get it on here. We put it on like this, uh, and then we can just solder these guys on right away. Um, and we don't have, oh, and they got a little messed up. Uh, let's say we don't have the breadboard, uh, because I know in the design center, uh, well, I don't know if we had one or not, but I know that we definitely had these helping hands, so let's just do it with the helping hands. Mm. It's going to be the same basic idea. We'll just, uh, let's see. Just going to connect this here. And then we're going to hold these guys in place together. There we go. All set. And now we're going to solder these on. Got my soldering iron right here. Take some solder and get ready to do this. So what you want to keep in mind is, again, you don't want to hold this down here too long because uh, things will start to burn and get hot. So we're just going to hold the soldering iron. We're going to put it on the uh, point where the pin and the little from the solder uh, from the header um, enters the hole for the um, ESP32 dev board right here uh, and then I'm going to feed the solder in I'm gonna sort of feed this into that connection and it will melt Let's see how that's done so I put this here and then we just go like this and uh, there we go so that one wasn't the most beautiful connection because what we can see here it's like kind of um well you can't see Let's see if i can just fix the mm. oops there we go so you can see a little bit maybe that wasn't the greatest connection now as soon as you get one in though you don't need that second um second uh, arm anymore but uh yeah that one wasn't so nice it's also a little tilted actually i'm looking at it here Look at that that's not good we want it nice and perpendicular so i'm gonna just uh heat this up and then i'll uh, back in here Grab that and take this one out. Heat that up a little bit. Mm, now it's kind of off center, so heat it up again. Heat it up again. There we go. Okay, it's aligned at least now. Looks like maybe there's not quite enough solder on this one, I think. So. I'm just going to 
lock myself into this. Don't worry about holding this anymore. And um, use a little extra light, I think. see now what would be nice is rotate this um, there, we go. there we go nice to have the um, side that you're trying to solder facing you so you don't have to reach over the, um, the board and all that should make it a little bit easier Mm, let's see if we just get a little bit more on here. That up. There we go. Not great, but it works. Try this again. We're just going to keep doing this. By the time you get to the end, you'll be making some nice solders. You're going to want to go for a nice little You really want to get the solder entering right at the point of contact in the pin in the hole like you're kind of filling the hole with solder you can see in this one now i've got some sort of like a pyramid tent shape kind of thing going on that's a that's a good solder oopsie okay, just a few more Now the solder I'm using is actually too thin for job. I think the solder in the design center is a bit thicker, so you should have a little bit more luck. Uh, as long as you're kind of getting that connection filled with solder to make sure there's a solid electrical connection. And you should be good. You really don't want to end up later in the semester trying to uh, trying to work with your device, and you're wondering why the heck is the uh, is this not working? You're trying to debug, writing all this code, and it's just not picking up the sensor values, or it's getting random sensor values, and that might be because the solder connection isn't quite as solid as it could be. So, paying a little extra care to make sure that you get this nice connection done. This time, will make your life a little bit easier down the road. It's kind of relaxing almost. Very focused task with an immediate outcome. A bit different than programming. All right, so you can see this looks pretty good. I'd say this one right here and this one right here has a little too much solder. Those are a little bit too much. 
the rest of these are looking pretty good. They're they're you know solid connections. I, I really can see that the um, solder has totally filled up that hole, um, and uh, it's a nice little tent shape. And the solder is still shiny, which means I didn't heat it up too much. So that's what you're shooting for, and then you just do the same thing on the other side. You might want to take this uh, protective screen off. So it doesn't get in the way. Um, and there you go, you've got your header on your USB 32. And then eventually what we'll do with this is um, got some wires here so we can take these sorts of wires and just uh, plug them in. And then we'll plug in the other side of this too. Uh, joystick or whatever we like um, and this will just uh, let us skip the need for um, breadboards we won't be making any circuits that are too complex so this sort of soldering should be sufficient for our purposes <laughs> 